You've been doing good all night. I ain't even got nothing to say to you. Come on, sweetheart. Just trying to get. Ain't nobody left but me and said the entertainer. That's all. Just me and said the entertainer. We gonna go way the fuck out here now. Lord have mercy. Hey, you know something? I want to say something. Because I never really stop and talk to women. And that's who really pays the most money to come see us. Women spend the most money in large numbers to come see us. And we appreciate y'all so much. And sometimes you never get the attention that you need. So I want to stop for just a minute, if I could get everybody's attention, and just say something to ladies. Now listen to me. This is to be no offense to anyone. I don't want you, when I start saying what I'm about to say, to trip, because it ain't that type of thing. I, I'm very respectful towards women, and I'm going to continue to be so. But I want to ask the ladies a question tonight. How many of you women in here, by round of applause, by round of applause, clap if you have managed to keep your weight under 117 pounds. Just clap. There are way too many motherfuckers was clapping just then now. Now listen to me. Listen to me. Let, let, let me get to what I'm saying. No disrespect to nobody else. That ain't what I'm about. But I do, for those of you that really are under 117 pounds, I realize how hard of a struggle that is to keep your weight under that level. And I commend you for working so hard. And I have a suggestion to all of you women that are under 117 pounds. After the show is over with, Y'all need to carry y'all's ass somewhere and get a goddamn sandwich. Because your ass is too goddamn thin. See, you think that thin shit is the lick. That ain't it. Thin ain't what's happening. See, you done fell into all the hype and shit. You've been looking at Cosmo magazine and, and Vogue, watching all them white girls pose like this trying to make an ass. Ass look like a paper cutter. Your ass is too thin. See, you thought thin was in. I got a new slogan for your ass, because at 42, you realize when you get grown that it's more to life than bullshit. Fuck thin is in. I got a new slogan for your ass, damn it. Thick is the lick. Boy, it ain't nothing better than putting your arms around your woman and discovering that it is more to her than your ass knew about. See, y'all about that bullshit. All you thin-ass women thought your ass was sexy, didn't you? Little bony ass. Don't nobody want to be laying around with your bony ass all night long. See, that shit is real sexy in the summertime. You got a little G-string jammed all up in the crack of your ass. Little booty look nice and cute, but God damn it, winter is coming. And a real player want a woman that's kicking off some heat. Laying up there next to your bony ass looking like a goddamn guardrail. I like that. Hey, the thin ass women get on my goddamn nerves too. That's all I used to date with little thin ass women because I used to like that look, you know. They walk in the room all long and statuous and shit. That shit wild after a while. Can't cut ass nowhere to eat. Don't ever want what you want. You ever took a skinny woman out to eat driving down restaurant row? Every time you see a place, you want to say, hey, baby, how about right there? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. well, how about right there? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Well, God damn it, what about them? No, they cooking with grease. What the fuck is wrong with grease? Some of the best shit I ever ate in my life that had grease oozing all out this shit. You ever been to churches and had that two-piece and a biscuit for 99 cents? You get that big-ass thigh, that son of a bitch look like a ham. You bite into that motherfucker, grease run all down your cheek. Boy, 
got us some good ass eating. Talk about she don't like cooking with grease. What the fuck is you using? What is you spitting in the skillet? Thin ass women that when you go pick their ass up, they ain't ever ready. Bony ass women, you know why they ain't ready? Cause they thinks they ass is cute. Got all of them, got four, five kids, ain't none of them yours. Now you sitting in the living room, they climbing all on your 